<laughs> I need to blow out the candles. But blowing only one, that won't work. Can we summon a breeze? <laughs> Where is Ween when you need Ween? Can we do something with this? Oh, use a spoon. How? To snuff that one out? Only that one. Only Stop one. That. <gasps> now we swap the two. Swap it. Do it. Yeah, we did it, guys. Now we're going back now. <laughs> they annoyed her. Just putting out one candle is enough. <laughs> So we put the real one into the sword now. Is that the right sentence, guys? That's not the right sentence. Uh, do we follow this sequence? Hold on, there is a sequence here. Maybe we follow what's on the artifact. So this one, two, three, four, five, six. This is not... Oh, what? There are extra stuff in here. I can cover the holes. Oh, I didn't know that. So just follow what's in the notebook then. Cover the circle holes. Or do we leave them open? Hmm... This symbol has three holes in them. And only two are shown, and then two circle ones. And for Kwati, this is just a dot, but there are two circles, or two dots, two spaces available for me to cover, right? Okay, I don't get it. It's not very consistent here. We follow the tiles. There should be an extra hole here on the left hand side, a dot on the left hand side. So, okay, what is going on here? What does it mean? This is not consistent. Some dots are shown. And some are not. And then some dots are circled, and the others not. Hmm. This is very puzzling. Okay, what the heck is going on here? Let me try that uh, sentence again, guys. We must release you spirits. So we must release you, release you, spirit. What about with? Why is with not in the sentence, guys? But we have six different symbols. But that word is not in the sentence. Where do I put this word? We must release you with the spirit. But if we put in the with in between those two words, that changed the meaning of the sentence, guys. So I don't quite know what's going on here. Where do I put with? I have to put it somewhere. It is a sequence of six. I don't understand. Is this a path? There are arrows. So it goes to this side. 
Oh, this is a... a circuit. It goes this way, and then go all the way back... to... this side. It go, go through the tiles. Hold on. So, this is a path. can see the arrow here, so it leads out. Then this goes through all the tiles, and then... it comes back to this line. Back into the artifact. So there is a path. The notches on the tiles, look at this. They have notches. So that means an entry point and the exit point. Oh, okay. Oh, look at this, guys. Hold on. This one doesn't have any notches. So that means we don't have to use that one. So if we follow this line... This is the first tile. We... We... Must. So that changes the order, guys. If we follow the path. So that means this is here. The notches fit, though, you see. We... Must... Then we comes out here again. We must release. So this goes straight across. We must release you. Oh, that's the same one. Yes. We must release you. Spirits. That completely ignores this tile. So, yeah, I think we have to put the whiff there, because we don't need that word. And then this tile travels all the way back to the artifact. Is that the path? There is a path. We follow the arrows. So what about the packs, these little pins? I need to cover some of the holes. Let's look at the book here again. You. A oh, we. We start with the we. We must release you spirits. We has the circle dot at the top. So if I cover that one up, like this. And for must, the top and the right hand side, top and right. We must release, release, top and left. You. You has one dot on the left-hand side. Oh! Is that the path? We did it! <laughs> we follow those dots! Right? Is this working? Whoa! Detective, you did it! You broke the spell! I could feel the demon lose its grip on me the moment the spirits were set free. Oh, its power was mesmerizing. Oh, whoa, what was that? Oh, what is that? <laughs> oh, I can feel the spirit of Ellen is with us now. Ellen, will you allow me to be your vehicle? <gasps> My family is now free. I can never fully repay you for that. But I do know a way to relieve you of your burden. Detective, bring the relic to me at the shore of Shadow Lake, and I will take it to the bottom and make sure it is never found again. Shadow Lake? I don't think the horn can be destroyed. But if Ellen can somehow hold it at the bottom of Shadow Lake, it will never be found again. 
Please, detective, can you do this one last thing for me? I will meet you back at the motel. And you find all of the map locations. We haven't been to Shadow Lake yet. That is the name of the game. <laughs> Shadow Lake. And goodbye, catacombs. <laughs> Pretty nice area. Shadow Lake right at the corner of the map. Uh, Alan. Where are you? Do we just throw this into the water, guys? The artifacts. Using our bare hands. <laughs> I'm not wearing gloves. Uh, this is it. Maybe I should just throw the relic in. <laughs> it's very risky using my bare hands. But this has to be done. Whoa. Finally, the town is rid of the horrible relic. Should go talk to Cassandra one last time. Wow, we spent one minute here at Shadow Lake. <laughs> The most important area of the map. The name of the game. <laughs> we are here for only one minute. Goodbye, Shadow Lake. Well, Detective, you've solved yet another great mystery. Working with you on this case has helped me come to a decision that I've been putting off for a long time. I've decided to leave the Ghost Patrol team and go into business on my own. How does this sound? Cassandra Williams, Psychic Detective. And that's the whole game, Mystery Case Files, Shadow Lake by Big Fish Game Studios. Leah Thompson. Who play Cassandra Williams? I don't recognize her at all, guys. I've seen the Back to the Future movies. I know she is in it. I believe she has a very popular series in the 90s, too, TV series. But yeah, I don't recognize her. <laughs> but I do love the full motion videos and how they are incorporated into the game. I think they are meshed very well with the CG graphics. Very high quality graphics in this game, top notch graphics for a casual adventure game. So how much budget this this game receive? <laughs> this is developed by the internal Big Fish Game Studios. So yeah, amazing job. The gameplay, the non-linear gameplay is also very fun. I can go to other locations whenever I want to look for those moving objects. And interestingly, they only open up when we complete the bonus content. So that is something different, guys. I did spend quite a lot of times finding those 50 objects. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I deleted a lot of the footage while I was searching for them, but <laughs> I think that helped move things along the way in the later part of the game. Anyway, the final reward for the bonus moving objects. That is a little bit disappointing, isn't it? Only a ticket to the Madame Fate show. <laughs> is that the next game, guys? Yeah, I haven't played that one, so... Madame Fate... Cassandra! The psychic! Wait, 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 is she Madame Fate? Huh? Are they one and the same? I don't know! I guess we have to play the game to find out. <laughs> her real identity. <laughs> but that is coming up uh, in the future, guys, along with 13 Skull and Return to Ravenhurst. I haven't played those games, so they will be coming up in the future. But anyway, um, back to this game. Yeah, the graphics, the sound, the music, 
two motion videos, anything else I haven't talked about. They're overall very impressive. <laughs> so I cannot wait to play the other older Mystery Case Files games. Mystery Case Files fans rule! <laughs> I do know that it has a lot of fan base. A very popular series this is. So, um, there is a making of what is it? Is this a movie? A making of movie? How do we check this out? Oh, it is a movie. Behind the scenes. Been with Big Fish for about seven years now, and this is my ninth Mystery Case Files. It's interesting seeing the metamorphosis from Huntsville to where we are today with Shadow Lake. At the first of the year, me and David, the uh, art director, get together, and he uh, comes up with the idea of the game with me, and then we create a design document, goes through all of the uh, the puzzles in the game and how uh, how it works, and then we spend the next half of the year just implementing what we've uh, what we designed and making little tweaks to things along the way. The inclusion of live action in Mystery Case Files Shadow Lake was especially uh, fun this time around. Uh, we got to work with very talented uh, uh, people, including uh, Leah Thompson, uh, best known for her roles in Back to the Future and Switched at Birth. I went to that hospital to have my baby. I came home with a baby that wasn't mine. Do you realize how devastated I am to know that the life that I brought into this world was cared for and nurtured by someone I didn't even know? The Mystery Case Files crew reached out to me, I guess because they thought I was the perfect person to play some kind of interesting new age psychic. I'm Cassandra, by the way. And they were psychic because my mother is a psychic. She talks like this. Hello, it's Wednesday. How are you? And uh, all of the other actors uh, were just top notch. It was just really great to watch them work. Well, Big Fish had the good sense to not only hire me, but hire my daughter, Madeline Deutsch, for this fantastic game. I'm Ghost Patrol Tech Kelly. And I'm Jack Talon. Come at me, ghosts! And Ghost Patrol is this fictitious, like, <laughs> silly ghost story, reality TV thing. It's just after midnight here at the abandoned Shadow Lake Penitentiary. She works off the host, who's got a big ego, and they work off. They were really funny together. It was really fun to see. Oh my god, what was that? What was that? Whoops. The favorite part about it is the live action and how it just blends into, you know, the map paintings and the artwork and the whole adventure of the game. A lot of what we do, even though they are flat images that you're looking at, uh, we create those images by starting in a 3D program. So even though you're seeing what looks like a flat image, we create that in 3D and make objects and every, almost everything you see is actually modeled in a 3D program, which is then rendered. My name is Lara Schneider, and I am a game artist on MCF. All of them. I do things like backgrounds, icons, UI, emotional support. Uh, I'm Randy RK Post. I'm a senior artist here at uh, Mystery Case Files, uh, Big Fish Games. Right now, I'm working on the destructed version of the church cellar. I used to um, code mini games and uh, do other things like putting the scenes together and stuff like that. Um, but this time I'm working more on game design and a little bit on production and, and doing my old job as well. I do a lot of work on the engine level and uh, the gameplay systems level. I design and implement systems to help enable everyone to make a lot of content and make that content really great. One of the things that I added to this game, which uh, I don't think has been used before in a Mystery Case Files game, is uh, physics for in the medium puzzle and also uh, in our little uh, pachinko game. I guess my favorite part of the game would have to be when we get to the video parts. I absolutely love the videos. The 201, take seven, Mark. Action.
Uh, no, we were just leaving, and no, I don't give out autographs, so if you'll excuse me. Has anyone seen my lip balm? So art leading on Mystery Case Files, Shadow Lake was especially easy because we have such a great group of artists. They're all top-notch artists, and they actually made my job look easy. Heck of a lot of fun here. This is a great team, so... Um... Let the MCF adventure continue, and let's see how many more of uh, these fun games we can actually, you know, put out there in the next few years. And that's the making of. Wow. Well, everybody, uh, have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time when we play another Mystery Case Files game. So, Hazi is signing out. Goodbye.